Ooh, this music is really nice. Whoa! Someone call the investigation team. You have to go rescue someone from the TV. The Graham. The lakeside town. Ooh. Alright, it does kind of look nice with the fog. It's not like an ominous fog like Inaba, but it looks nice. It's stunning. This is the first time I've visited La Graham, but it's every bit as beautiful as I've been led to believe. So, this is a town of mist and ancient legends. I'm pleased you seem to have taken a liking to it. Unfortunately, the mist does hinder the visibility. On a clear day, the surface of the lake gleams like a polished mirror. Augur, no, it's breathtaking all the same. Welcome home, my lady. Is this Laura's dad? What? Probably her butler, though, because she's a noble. How long have you been there? Interesting. I couldn't sense him coming at all. I have returned, Klaus. I see that your proficiency in the arts of concealment has not diminished in my time away from home. Oh, you were the butler that took Laura to school. I remember you, actually. On the contrary, my age has begun to get the better of me, I'm afraid. Watching you grow and mature is the only joy left to an old man like me. <laughs> Surely you jest. Can I assume that father not coming to meet us means he's currently away from the Graham? I'm afraid so. Oh, come on, Laura's father. I wanted to meet him. I want to challenge him to a duel. He also mentioned that he was unsure when he might return. Uh, I did expect that might be the case. Nonetheless, allow me to introduce you. Everyone, this is Klaus, the RSA family steward. He fills in for my father in his absence and serves as acting master for the RSA School of Swordsmanship. The acting master? Ah, sounds like one amazing old guy. Huh. Father Klaus. He looks straight up like Frederick. Except his mustache is thicker. I trust you all had a pleasant trip, ladies and gentlemen, of Class 7. Let me be the first to welcome you to Legram. If you'll come with me, I'll escort you to the mansion. Oh, beautiful. I'm looking forward to it. Seeing Laura's home. At this point, we've been to everyone's home except Emma's, right? Let's see, we went to Elliot. No, Elliot and Machias were both in Heimdall. Husus was in Berehard. Gaius was in Nord. Oh, Elisa. We haven't been to Elisa's home yet. Maybe we'll go to Elisa's home in um, the next one, I would think. Because I think everyone's home we've been to. And Fees either. We've never been to Fees. Still, it doesn't look like the years have really changed too much here. It's like walking in a bygone era. You can really see the influence of animism in the region, too. Just look at the stone monument. I believe that was built long before the Arsae family was entrusted with the governance of this region. Which would make it several hundred years old at the very least. Huh, it has a rather strange shape, too. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Yeah, what is that indeed? It appears to be a statue of the Lance Maiden. That's right, the center statue is the Lance Maiden herself, while those beside her are the two of the Isenbrider. I believe these were made over 200 years ago as well. Indeed, tradition holds that they were constructed to honor the achievements of St. Sandlot. Incidentally, the knight kneeling at the lower right is the ancestor of the Viscount. Ah, so that's Laura's great-great-great-grandfather, huh? Hey, you'll need a few more greats. We're about 10 generations apart. Lady Laura. Lady Laura, I'm so pleased to see you back in the Graham. The Viscount did mention that you'd be returning. I'm so happy to see you again, Lady Laura. I'm so glad to see you're all well. I'm just back for two or three days on a field study as part of my coursework at the Academy. I'll be sure to visit more with each of you later. Oh, of course, please do. I'd love to hear all about how life at the Academy's been treating you. She seems to be quite popular around here. I mean, of course, she wields a giant sword. Yeah, it looks like the Viscount's family has built up a good relationship with the people of Legram. Oh, it's a Bracer Guild. Oh, it's you again. Toval, I think. Looks like they finally showed up. Well, it's been pretty busy around here lately. I could use the help. And that cat. Emma? Emma, explain. Explain this cat. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I'll go look over there. Over their task one more time, just to be sure. Oh, is he, um, is he assigning our tasks? Is that what's happening here?
I do like this music a lot. This must be the RCA school, if I had to guess. I could hear the ring of steel on steel. Undoubtedly, the sword of the sound of swords crossing. Ah, so this must be the Arsade's training hall. Indeed it is. I have more memories in this building than I could possibly count. Although many of them involve being soundly defeated by my father, or Klaus. My apologies, my lady. Well, it's pretty apparent he's not your run-off-the-mill butler. You can tell by the way he carries himself, he has a, a master's poise. Yo, can we go inside? And this is Viscount Arsade's mansion. Wow, so this is where Laura lives. You expect nothing less from a Viscount. Can I, like, duel Laura since her father's not here? And it seems to be built on a hill overlooking the town, too. It was originally built with the intent that it could function as a stronghold, should the need ever arise. Welcome to the home of Viscount Arsade. Allow me to show you around in my fa father's stead. Very unfortunate, Laura's dad's not here. I would love to meet him. And challenge him, but I had to beat Laura first. Duel with Laura, then duel with her father. It's on my bucket list. I have to do it. If, this, if I don't do it in this game, this game gets a 6 out of 10 the best. If they don't let me do that. Oh wow, this place looks nice. I mean, it's Laura. She is a noble. Wow, what an incredible view. It's so beautiful. It's not often I've taken a view this spectacular. Say, is that? What we got over there? Whoa, a castle. Ah, that must be Legrand's famous landmark. Indeed, that's Lohengrin Castle. During the War of the Lions, it served as the Lance Maiden's stronghold. A saint's castle towering on the shore of a shimmering lake. Just seeing it there in all its majesty makes me want to set brush to canvas. It does seem like a scene tailor made for painting. Oh, guys can paint that in a heartbeat. I agree, but there'll be plenty of time to take in the scenery later. Right now, we need to pick up our list of field study tasks. Oh, right. Laura, there's always time for the scenery. Are you the one who prepared our task for us, Cloud? Actually, the assigning of your duties here has been entrusted to a professional. A professional at what? Can you elaborate? Head to the Bracer Guild in the town central plaza. It's Tova, I knew it! At the master's behest, they have taken on the responsibility of preparing all the tasks of your lat field study here. The Bracer Guild? There's a branch here in the Gram? Yeah, I saw it when the camera panned out to it. Indeed, there's been a small branch in the guild for many years. My family has a good relationship with the guild. They've done so much for us in the town over the years. Oh, really? Well, whatever. Not like they asked me to do anything. Huh, what are you babbling about? Nothing much, just thinking out loud. Yeah, think quietly. Anyway, it looks like we need to pay a visit to the guild. Yeah, I'd like to get through as many of today's tasks as we can. We'll be taking our leave, Klaus. Of course. Please take care, everyone. No, let me challenge Laura at the school of our Sade. Come on. I want to duel with Laura. How does one get to this Bracer Guild? I would imagine... That's Legram's Chapel. Oh, it's down there. Perfect. A cross inside a circle. Any idea what it means? No one really knows for sure. There are a number of theories, though. Unfortunately, the meanings of most animus symbols have been lost over time. Got me, dude. I have no idea what it means. This building is the Legram branch of the Bracer Guild. Yes, I see the sign right here. Oh, the guild emblem. I must not have noticed it earlier with all the mist. Strange. The branches in the capital were closed due to political pressure. This one still seems be active the Legrand branch continues to operate as it always has that's why i was rather surprised to find out the capital's branches were no longer active come to think of it we met a bracer back when we were in brea hard for our field study 
But I saw no signs of a guild bridge there either. It was closed a year ago. Though as I understand it, the pressure to close came from the Duke's household, not the Imperial government. Is that so? Well, braces are an eyesore to most of those do well to do types. They don't bow to authority. You can't bribe them with Mira. They're all about protecting civilians. Give them an excuse to lean on the braces to get them out of the picture, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. Million, that's kind of, huh? You don't mince words, do you? Choice words coming from an intelligence division operative. Do you think you're not complicit in this? Well, it's not less. It's, it's less us and more Gramps. He went barging into branches into the capital himself and started telling them what they could and couldn't do. Wow. That explains the instructor's frosty temperament toward him. Man, you guys sure know how to poke around a guy. Poke, how to poke a guy where it hurts, don't you? Hey, Toval. Oh. Now there's a familiar face. I'm pleased to see you again, Toval. Oh, you know each other? Nah, we just ran into each other a couple months ago. Long time no see, Laura. Sounds like Sarah's keeping your nose to the grindstone, huh? Wait, so... You must be a former associate of our instructor, I take it. Pretty much. Bracer Tovo. I'm Tovo Randonor, a bracer with the guild here in the Empire. Good to meet you, ladies and gents of Class 7. Bum, bum, bum. Wait a minute. So it wasn't a coincidence that we ran into you in Brayhard? Bingo. Sarah told me you were going to be there. She wanted me to keep an eye out, out for you and step in if you ever got into a real tight spot. But she insisted I play casual and not give myself away. Man, that part was a lot harder than I thought it'd be. I had no idea. Thanks for your assistance back then. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to bust Machias out without your help. You may not have been directly assisted me, but I suppose you have my thanks nonetheless. You're welcome. Sarah's repaid that debt in full though, so don't worry about it. Interesting. I had no idea you already met some of the members of our class. Incidentally, Tovol, the guild standing here in Erebonia certainly seems to have shifted over to the past few years. No doubt, basically every branch here in the Empire was shut down after the government started putting, a pre putting pressure on us. Some of us found work in a different field like Sarah, others transferred to branches outside the country. But we all agreed to get back together if we can ever resume operations in Erebonia again. Until then, we're just trying to keep a low profile, scraping out a, lot, a living for ourselves. Sounds like a difficult life. Still, with the guild having to decrease its presence, isn't there more than enough work for the remaining branches? I wish. The Railway Military Police deals with a lot of stuff we wouldn't have handled before. Your little lady's friend in particular keeps herself pretty busy. Oh, you mean Claire. Yep, she is a hard worker. Although with all the time she spends on work, it's no wonder she doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, Milliam? I'm not sure you should go around sharing the details of people's private lives without their consent. C can we, like, leave Milliam at the curb? <laughs> well, I find enough work to keep the lights on here anyway. And this branch has the Viscount's approval, so we can display our sign without getting into trouble. So, that's how it is. Well, it's nice to hear that the Viscount seems pretty supportive of the guild. Seems to find much of himself in the Bracer's way of life. Self-reliance, pride, and the focus of, on helping others. He's long said that if he, were free, if he were free of other responsibilities, he would join the guild and work as a Bracer himself. Oh my, that seems very... I hardly think a man who owns territory in the Empire could just up and join the Bracers. The Radiant Blade Master himself is a Bracer, huh? In terms of strength and standing, he's probably on par with Cassius Bright. I'll bet he'd... Make S rank right in the spot. You know Cassius Bright? I believe he's currently a brigadier and general in the Liberalian army, as well as the bearer of the title of Divine Blade. Guess I should expect no less from a member of the Intelligence Division. Anyway, that's how the Viscount ended up asking me to sort out some tasks for your field study. Let me give those to you now. Ah, beautiful. Alright, let's see what we got. All right, typical, typical. Uh, replace a lot of orbit lights. 
All right, cool, cool, cool. I wish for Lay Lauren, you friendly training against students. Oh, against students. I thought it was uh against Laura. Study area is defined as a 20 cell radius around the gram. Each student must record his or her. All right, yeah. Oh, so this is how your field studies go. Generally, yeah. Should we come back tomorrow to pick up our next set of tasks? Yeah, I've got some work I could use your help with. We're pretty short-handed, so we've got a real monster of a backlog building up. I'm counting on you to pave the way to Easy Street. Pave the way to Easy Street for me, okay? I will do. All right, then let's waste no time getting started. Looks like one of the requests is from the training hall. It seems to be from Klaus. Got a monster extermination quest too. We'll have to head out onto the highway for that one. It would be nice if we can cover as many of the townspeople with the quest as possible too. This is so cool. Yeah, I guess doing favors for people is nice. All right, let's get started. Let's head up this highway. We'll do this first task. Where is this highway? Where's one find the highway? Probably over there. That's the, uh, the school. Right, here I go. All right, Million, let's do it. Oh, this is the one with the light. We'll just start this one now. It's on the highway, apparently. Hello there, Wato. You've been well, I hope. Why, of course. We're all doing well here. Though perhaps less so on the business front. Oh? It's not really a big issue. It's just that your father rejected the order to raise taxes here. Deliveries come through on the highway might have slowed a bit, fair bit ever since. It's clear as day that Duke Alborea wasn't too pleased by Lord Arsene's decision. I see. Please allow me to apologize for my father's actions. You have no reason to feel responsible, Husis. Indeed, deliveries by train have come through just fine, so ultimately we're not up a creek without a paddle at least. Alright. This is where I wanted to be. That was a <laughs> that was just talking. Nice lore though. Welcome everyone, I hope the day is treating you well. If you need any armaments or have any orb or mint related questions during your stay, you can just come straight to me. Thank you, Duncan. Your sum your sir something. Your service is invaluable, as always. It's an honor to hear you say that. That reminds me, I heard that you guys will be the ones taking on the request I sent in the Tobal. That's right. You want us to do something with the road lamps, right? Could we ask for some further information about how to do that? Isn't it basically what we did in Heldic with the lamps? It could take a while though. Are you sure you have the time for it? Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. Just explain what it is you'd like us to do and we'll get to it. Alright, here's how it'll go. I'm going to presume you all know what a road lamp is at this point. Yes. You probably also know that they require regular maintenance in order to function as they should. That's especially true here in the Gram since the moisture from the fog causes their surface to short, short more frequently. I put in the request for Tobal to inspect them not too long ago, actually. To my surprise, he discovered that almost all the lamps close to a town are in need of some maintenance work. I assume you want us to replace them all in one go, then? That's correct. To be a bit more specific, I'd like you to replace their orbit lights. That does seem like a long, troublesome task. That kind I'd normally pay someone else to do. <laughs> oh, Husis. The road lamps serve as a safety measure for travelers along the highway, though. So, this is important. Sounds about as much fun as picking lint out of my belly button. But oh well, nothing we can do about it. Milliam, never say that again. That's just disturbing. This does seem like something Tova would usually handle himself, though. Isn't that right? It is? He'd probably laugh at us if a group of promising students weren't able to change a few lights, I'll bet. It really takes me back to our field study in Celtic, though. That's right, we had to do something like this back then. I suppose every town needs working road lamps. So you're practically pros already, then. <laughs> I guess doing it once makes us a pro. Hardly. I finally managed to block off any memories of our first field study. <laughs> uh, no fair, you guys. Stop remembering stuff I wasn't here for. Uh, very rude. That's what you get for showing up to the late to the party. Anyway, I assume the road lamps here also need a code to open their maintenance panels. Not quite. The lamps here in the Grand use a key for access instead. Which means you'll be needing this. Oh, no passcode. Thank you. Well, at least it should make things simpler this way. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I don't need to remember a code this time. And here are the replacement orbit lights you'll need. Perfect. That's a lot of lights. 
A01 to A05, B01 to B09. They're all marked with layers and numbers. That they are. Each one matches up with the row lamp it should be used in. Use the A1 light with the A1 lamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not exactly advanced calculus. Yeah. So, do you need any pointers on how to change them? Now I remember how to do it from last time, so I think we'll be fine. Well, that seems to be everything we need to know to get started. We'll be on our way then. Good luck. Our beautiful. So, basically the same thing as Celtic, except we're not using a passcode. 